How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z from The Shaving Cadre and today we're going to be doing a shave with Ariana and Evans Choco Cabano. So, this isn't necessarily a holiday themed scent. Um, it is a darker scent. Um, as you can tell by the name, Choco, it has notes of chocolate in it. And actually it's a pretty dominant note. Um, it also has notes of tobacco. Here are the full scent descriptions. I don't get very much of the bray, the bergamot, whatnot. Um, but I can see how they might lighten up the scent so it doesn't get overpoweringly dark and uh, cloying, and uh, let the the or the excuse me the chocolate become too overpowering. But what this does remind me of, it reminds me of a really nice Christmas chocolate. Uh, opening up the uh, the advent calendars with chocolates in it kind of reminds me of that so uh, that being said that's why we're using it as part of our Christmas themes um, this will be the fourth shave um, with this particular soap this is in Ariana and Evans goat milk base which is right here um, still a phenomenal performing soap uh, I'd have to put it behind um, a couple different bases, the uh, the Icarus base and the Bison Tala base from Declaration Grooming. Um, Peter's new formula with the yogurt, um, as well as uh, Barrister and Man's uh, Excelsior base, uh, I would place above this as well. Um, but with that being said, this is still a phenomenal soap base. I put it for me, it's about on par. Um, another soap that would be on par with it would be Holy Cow's Donkey Milk. Um, would be I actually have this rank a little bit higher than the, the donkey milk um, as far as the scent goes uh, quite enjoyable the chocolate again is forward uh, it has the, the tobacco notes and the other notes that are supporting it um, that tone it down and, and keep it from getting too cloyingly sweet um, it is on the gourmand side of the house so uh, gourmand meaning that something you might want to eat don't eat it it's soap it'll make you sick Please don't. Uh, but with that being said, uh, the soap is a darker color. Um, the lather it produces is a an off white color. Um, it's not dark like a uh, a night music uh, would be. So for the shave today, uh, we're going to be using the Excalibur Rustics with the um, cashmere 24 millimeter cashmere knot, and then for the razor. We're going to be using the Vector. Uh, I've waffled back and forth on whether to use the Vector or to use the Straight today. Um, wanting a little bit more simplistic shave. Um, this has a Pro Guard blade in it. I took the Super out. I probably could have gotten another 10, 15 shades off of it. I'm not too concerned about that. I wanted to try it out with the Pro Guard. So I tried it out with the Pro, Pro Super. Um, and this will be the second shave on the Pro Guard. Uh, first shave, I mean, if you guys want an effortless, mindless shave, there you go. This this, this fits the bill. Um, extremely efficient at the same time. So that's what we'll be using for the razor. Now let's step over here. Start lathering. So Ariane and Evans, if you haven't used it, does load very easily. I could probably do a 15 second load here and have more than enough lather. Um, but I prescribed to the notion, load it like you hate it. So we'll do probably right around the 30 second load. Yeah, I think we're good. I did bloom the soap. Again, there's only a couple soaps that I don't bloom. Prior to use, uh, Declaration Groomings, Bison Tallow, and uh, CBL Soap. So the, really the only two that I don't bloom uh, prior to use. So dump the bloom water in. So there's probably about a tablespoon and a half of water in there already. And we're just going to incorporate some air. Get that water some air incorporated and you can see how pasty the lather is right now go ahead and 
not attempt to drown it, but this is a thirstier soap, so it's going to take a lot of water. So you can see it's getting a little bubbly right now. Those bubbles will dissipate. bubbles aren't necessarily air getting into the lather, that's just the, the combination of the, the glycerin that's in the soap and the water creating those bubbles. So what you want to do is you want to incorporate the air that's in those bubbles into the, uh, into the lather. Scent strength on this out of the tub is an easy four. Um, it's very strong, um, but it's nicely balanced, a nicely balanced four. Um, once you lather this up, when you get it on your face, you get enveloped by that chocolatey goodness. Uh, it's quite enjoyable. Generally, not a huge fan of tobacco scents, but this is done extremely well. This and the uh, the signature line, the signature scent, signature scent is just phenomenal. That that is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I think we're where we need to be. We might need to add some more water on the face, but I doubt it. But, all right guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna do my hot towel and uh, we'll get on with the shave. See you in a second. All right guys, let's get right into the shave. Actually, when I did my lather up before my towel, the uh, lather looked really shiny. So I might not need to add as much water, if any, as I uh, originally thought I might. I originally planned on doing this video yesterday. But a long 16 hour day of work kind of derailed that. All these soaps that I'm going over right now, I will do a review before the end of the month on each of them, give them a rating. But right now I'm just enjoying the use and really getting a, a feel and trying to tune in, dial in each of these soaps, try and find their ideal consistency. All right, back to what the Pro Guard. So I find myself bouncing back and forth between this and the carve razor. As far as which one is the more um, autopilot shave. Right now I'm kind of struggling because this with a ProGuard blade is, you have some blade fill, not very much at all. But there is zero harshness to this whatsoever, zero. Um, just really, really, really smooth. 
Um, but then again, the C plate on the carve um, is, I would, I would say, is a touch more smooth. Um, has equivalent blade feel um, for me. I know some people have stated that it has some blade feel um, that they weren't a fan of. Um, but we're just going to paint this one on. I don't know if you can see how shiny this lather is. It's glossy. saying hmm but as far as the razor is concerned um, this the C plate from the carve is a little bit more smooth However, it does have more blade feel, which sounds like it'd be an oxymoron, but it's not. This is almost as smooth with this ProGuard blade, but it is twice as efficient. This is more efficient with the ProGuard blade, not even with the Super Pro. The Pro Guard blade, this is more efficient than the D plate carve. So, if you're wanting a really, really smooth shave, if you're, if you're, what you enjoy is smoothness for me, from my experience, <clears throat> then the carve would be what I would go with. If I'm looking for a combination of smoothness and efficiency, it's the vector hands down. Without question, the vector is much more efficient and almost as smooth. Now there is a quite a bit when you step up to the Pro Gar or Pro Supers, there is quite a bit more blade feel. Uh, the Pros, it's about the same. Pros are actually the exact same size as the Pro Guards, but the bevel of the blade is actually sitting on your skin. Whereas these and the Kai Micro Guards, I think, um, have mini guards on the built into the blade that keep the bevel off of your skin. The bevel being the sharpened part of the blade. As far as what is the more mindless shave, honestly, just because of the amount of lather it can hold, the curve is a bit more mindless. Because I don't have to rinse it as much. Um, but that's not really a knock on the razor, it's just how the razor is built. Um, what you gain. And the trade-off is an incredible, incredible amount of agility and dexterity with that, with this uh, vector, over what you would have with a DE. 
even though it is wider. And just to give you a comparison of how much wider, if you've never used an Artist Style Club blade, all right, that's how much wider you're talking um, versus a DE. Um, so it's quite a bit wider. Um, so you've got a wider swath that you're cutting down at, at once, um, but this doesn't hold nearly as much leather because of how narrow it is. But it makes it ultra maneuverable. So getting up underneath the nose, super easy, never, never have a worry. Um, yeah, all in all, phenomenal shave. The soap, um, it's Peter's Goat Milk Base. Uh, like I said, it's one of my top bases in my den. Um, it's getting bumped down with some of the newer soap bases being released by the artisans uh, out there, but it's still one of the. T it's still an elite soap for me, uh, no doubt about it. This is one of the elite soaps for me. Um, so, scent wise, really enjoy the scent. Um, is it one of my favorites from him? No, um, I still enjoy um, the signature, and I enjoy SoCal Hipster more. Um, and I probably enjoy Grecian Horse a little bit more than this one. Uh, probably put it on enjoyment wise on the same tier as like uh, L'Orange Vert um, and maybe uh, uh, Warrior of Howling Fool. No. Warrior is a good scent. Peter's got so many good scents, it's, it's hard for me to pick one out. But uh, Asian Plum, Summer Fig, those are both phenomenal scents too. So, but yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead clean up my area, clean up my mess, um, and uh, we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Finished up a real nice shave, uh, real enjoyable. It's always good to take multiple days growth off. Uh, today was no exception. So just to recap what we used, we used Ariana Nevins Choco Cubano um, in their goat milk, for goat milk formula. The Excalibur Rustics, the beautiful Maxar Ebony um, barber pole handle with a cashmere, 24 millimeter cashmere that was set by Eric Sorrentino of the Cadre. Uh, Smatty you, for those of you who aren't aware. Um, check him out, he does some awesome brushes. And then we use the, excuse me, the Vector with the ProGuard blade on its second use. Real nice and smooth. Just, that's turning into one of my favorite razors. And we followed it up with some Jeeves of Hudson Street. Abyss uh, aftershave. Um, it's got chocolate notes in there with some rose and vanilla um, and complemented the uh, uh, the Choco Cabano really well. So all in all, um, again, I've gone over the uh, soap base, the goat milk soap base. It's, I mean, I talked about it during the, uh, earlier in the video a couple of times. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite bases. Um, and the scent is at first when I read the first at first when I read the scent description wasn't real hot on it and then uh, kind of warm to it wanted to give it a try and I'm glad I did um, just a really nice um, it's a it's a scent that makes me smile because uh, it does remind me of you know the uh, the chocolates that you would get out of the advent calendars as far as it relates to the holidays um, and just overall it just smells real nice warm and inviting uh, so good job Peter great great job in the scent and uh, yeah you can check them out uh, www.theshavingshopclub.com or shavingshopclub.com I'll have the uh, link in the description below uh, you can also find them at West Coast Shaving uh, top of the chain um, as well as there's a couple other international sellers that I'm, I'm neglecting to remember off the top of my head um, so I'll apologize for that but yeah if you haven't checked out the Shaving Cadre, stop on by www.theshavingcadre.com. Uh, we've gotten a ton of new members recently. You know, the site's growing, conversations are flowing. Uh, real great uh, community uh, building there. Uh, come on in, check us, check us out, and uh, become part of the uh, the discussion, guys. So until next time. Um, uh, oh, don't forget for you Cadre members who everybody who signed up. Uh, by uh, the end of December 1st, um, and you haven't signed up for my PIF, sign up for my PIF, my giveaway. Um, and uh, the other thing I'm going to be doing is, if I don't have um, at least half of the spots filled by the 15th, so on the 16th, if I don't have at least half of the spots filled, 
then I'm going to be offering up an opportunity for everybody to select a second number. So right now we're sitting at 41 open slots, so there are so five more slots available. Um, otherwise, we're going to be uh, everybody's going to be picking a second number. So come sign up for the PIF. There's a ton of stuff in there. Uh, more things are going to be added. Um, I can already tell you right now. Uh, depending on performance, I've, I'm looking at at least two or three more soaps that are going to be added to the PIF, um, and I haven't decided what else. There might be some more hardware added, um, although I haven't decided what. So, sign up, guys. Until next time, guys, I'm Dagwood Z from The Shaving Cadre. All right, see you later. Peace.